guys and welcome back to my channel today we are going to do an update for the single ladies and my man Matt project pan that I am doing with Amanda and Jessica and some other ladies I mostly see the updates from them so I don't know if the other ladies have jumped off the bandwagon I don't know and I have seen some other people on Instagram and I will try to link them down below but if you are not mentioned Please let me know so I can add you to the list. We have done this since January last year and I'm just really enjoying it. But I will admit that my shadows are not getting that much use. And I'm kind of sad about it actually. But let me show you where I am with my matte palette that I'm panning and my four single shadows. The matte palette for my matte is my W7 Major Matte Eyeshadow Palette that I chose for this year to work on and focus on. and. This is where I was last time in my last update. This is where I am now. No pen. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I will say that I have two dips, three dips, three dips in this palette. And those three are the shadows that I have used the most. And as I have said in the last updates, the warmer tones I have used the most uh, crease. Outer corner and outer corner. That's just a fact. I have used these three big shadows a little bit, but you can only see some wear. I can at least feel a dip forming kind of in this light pink shade that I'm using for these kind of looks. Not today though, but overall in like my pink and purple looks. I've tried to use this one in my crease. But yes, most time I am using these two and that is where you can see the most progress. Maybe you can see the dip. Don't know. <laughs> I enjoy it, but it is going to take a while. <laughs> a shadow that I haven't used this month is my Kigo 133 eyeshadow. Maybe I've used it once. Maybe. So there is not that much progress on this. I rolled it in last time, so that is okay. I didn't expect to have amazing progress though. Then I have the P2, the future is mine, the future is mine, eternal star mono eyeshadow in virtually bronze. This one, maybe you can see some progress. I have really tried to use it more for this update, so I hope you can see some progress. I don't know if you can, but if you can, yay, <laughs> I'm using it. I have used it so much more than the last two months, so that is a good thing. Can you believe it? I have still not departed this and it has been like three, four months now. It's insane. I keep forgetting. But yes, I am using it every single day. I have it in my inner corner. I'm excited about my progress. It is minimal, but it's there and I'm using it and I'm excited. The pan has definitely expanded on this, but it will take so long to use up. I don't mind though. It's really beautiful and I love it for my inner corners where I only use it, just saying. The only shadow that I have on today though from this project is my Kigo uh, High Pigment in 54. I have this one in my crease right now, uh, quite heavily, heavily. So I don't know if you can see any progress, but I have used it uh, once or twice this month um, and I have tried to use it around the pan. So maybe you can see somewhere expansion, whatever. I have used it. That was my update. Very quick, not a lot of progress, but I am using most of the shadows every single day. And I'm really trying to juggle this panning eyeshadow thing this year. I don't know how I do. I did way better this month in my Panther palette than this project. So I hope you guys are going to check that out if you haven't already. I just filmed an update so that should be up before this one. I hope you guys enjoyed and check out the other ladies down below and until my next one, please take care. Bye!